Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We are here to check out something that's made in Japan. We're going to check out Sento no, Senko no Rond 2. Senko no Rond 2 is a fighting shmup 2D, 3D combat arena thing. Yeah, so this game has actually been out for a while. Uh, this is actually, uh, I think it's a another birth of another. I can't remember what the name of the actual name, uh, the actual like subtitle to it is. It had a, I think it was called War Machines. I think that's what actually it was called whenever they translated to, into Europe and released it as a game over here, which was a bizarre way of actually explaining what the game was about or giving a basic premise of what it is. I imagine essentially Iron Man War Machine fighting against each other in like a two-dimensional, three-dimensional box arena thing. So we've got a fairly... Oh, just making sure that my audio levels aren't too high. Uh, making the um, you get to see the combat here. Are we going to actually? Is going to jump into it? Senko no Rondo. Do. So uh, yeah, I played this as a Japanese game. I played the the Hong Kong release of this demo, and uh, I I don't need the tutorial. Yeah, no, I don't need the tutorial. I'm, I, I, essentially, the tutorial is a bit slow. It does explain a little bit about the characters and how people interact with each other and what the gameplay is like. But uh, it's not a really great it's it, 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 it's not a great way to experience the game. So obviously, Cinco de Ronde, uh, like I said, is a. I'm just gonna say, is there sound HUD? Anything I can do here to actually show the characters? I'm just gonna go into practice here and back out of it again, and then just so I can show the characters. So basically, you have main characters that you can see over in the far side here. That's the person who's piloting. That is the mech that they're piloting, and the little person to the middle, uh, to the side of it, is their kind of like their operator, the person who kind of like gives them their skills or extra weapons or whatever else. So let's see here if I can remember what it is. Okay, so you can swap uh, colors for the characters, obviously. Uh, there is also no, no, that's not what I wanted. I'm trying to remember it here. Where is the switch there we go okay so the controls are slightly different between the um the p the uh, the hong kong version the chinese version and this version but you have alpha and beta versions of the characters which obviously change the color schemes of the characters and of the unit in the background but also affects the person that you have as a support character and the support character themselves actually affect your special attacks in the game so you've got three characters here that we can check out from the top so we've got uh you, 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 or you. My personal favorite is this dude here. Um, I'm going to tell you to take the squall looking version of him to play with. So yeah, I'm going to grab him, play with, and we'll go into the arcade mode. I can't get out of this, can I? There we go. I was wondering there, I was like wondering why can't I actually leave the menu screen? The, um... Yeah, there we go. Cinco no Rond. Cinco no Rond. I played that on. I played this on easy the last time when I was playing it in the Japanese demo. So I'm just going to play it as is, and let's see if the difficulty level is going to get my ass kicked. And I'm hoping the controls haven't been changed too much from Napalm, yeah, Napalm or Supercharge, yeah, Napalm. I purposely chose this version the last time because I like the chick with the glasses, but I think I prefer the Napalm. So I'm going to go with purple hair chick. Need this. All right, let's rock and roll. So. Combat is one on one in an arena. Over the top, you actually kind of like have. <clears throat> you kind of have this. Oh, there we go. Top down shooting, which is actually schmuppy with a bullet hell kind of feel to it. And you actually chase after characters and then get into close combat and it switches to a two dimensional kind of view and you attack people with your special attacks. Boom! Whoop! Whoop! And down you go! And we go for a special! Where you turn into a giant ass boss ship and you kick the shit out of them! Woo! <coughs> Sorry, I actually getting choked myself whenever I was getting, forgetting to take a breath of air. But yeah, essentially your super moves and it turns you into a generic schmuck boss that actually just wipes out screens. Oh shit, hang on. <laughs> No one get my ass kicked immediately. So you can basically tell the combat's a little bit frantic, but most of it is actually quite, um, oh, I'm just gonna check the audio levels again here. There we go, make sure I'm not actually too high up. Yep, that's good and grand. The um, amount of attacks you can do, you can actually block all the, you can block and pull up a shield and actually like counter a lot of the moves. So it's almost like a rock, paper, scissors kind of thing with the way you attack. But uh, most of the time you're gonna be spending kind of dodging your enemies. 
and avoiding their uh, attack pass. Oh, damn you. Oi! I'm gonna finish off your combo. Boom! And down you go. Oh! You didn't die? Alright then. Eat it! <laughs> oh, sounds like it hurt. Oh! Sounds like it hurt so much. So yeah, you get the basic idea of what the combat's like. Um, that was amazing. Not at all. We're the SSS. Uh, oh, okay. No, I just realized that this guy's a little bit weird. I didn't know he was weird in the previous game. I swear to hell, guys. So there's leveling of the characters in this. Um, they, I'm assuming the XP bonus is actually leveling up to unlock another version than later on. But there's a massive variety in the characters that you're playing as anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Down you go. Uh oh, spaghettios! Oh, down you go! <laughs> oh, he survived! She give you. <laughs> You're not getting away from me. So we're going to finish off this one last fight so you can get to see the um, the concept of the game. The, this is actually a remaster remake of Second Iran that was actually, like I said, uh, played under the name of War Machines on European release previously. Now, it's not a massively impressive game graphically, but it actually is really fun to play uh, for a schmuppy kind of like fighting game. The concept is weird. The last time I played a game like this would have been a game that reminded me a while out of the anime series X, which was played, uh, it was called, I think it was Psychic Force, 2199 or so on, and it was played on the Dreamcast, which had you fighting in like a square arena that was a locked off space that you couldn't actually interfere with the rest of the world. It was like the battle of space would happen. Um, this feels the same way with uh, space combat, and I'm sure that outside of arcade there must be some kind of like overarching story, but it is kind of fun to play as is. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm just gonna stop playing this because otherwise I'll, I'll get it I'll go really into this. I actually got really into it the last time I was playing the Japanese version, and I didn't really give myself a chance. Oh, wait. Oh, I was wondering who the character was that was actually fighting against. So, um, I really got into this in the last playthrough that just, it just ate my time. And I just realized I was like, I was at like 45 minutes of recording and me still talking. And I was just like, at that point, I was like, right, right. I need to play this game a bit more or a little bit more focused so that I can actually tell you guys about it. But yeah, Second Iran is an addictively fun game. It's simple enough. It'll be available to us reasonably soon. I think it was actually chatting about a November release whenever I was looking at it last, but that could have changed since the last time I was looking at it. But of course, see the way there actually is a listing here for Arcade, Online, Offline, Score Attack, and Duo Story Mode. Duo Story Mode is the additional stuff. This is actually Second Iran 2, uh, Birth by Duo, or Duo again, or Duo whatever it was. That was actually the Japanese name of it. You know, just over here, it's going to be called Second Iran 2. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching guys. If you actually enjoyed me playing Single Neuron, then make sure to hit the subscribe button up here in the corner and I hope you actually enjoyed watching me play. If you don't do the subscribe thing, completely understand, you don't have to do the subscribe thing. All you have to do is just memorize the name, Pastiche of Skin. You can just type it in, find me anywhere, just go online, it's easy to get me. I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape or form. You can always see me whenever I'm doing live streams or in videos. And of course, the last thing I have to remember is, if you're on YouTube, subscribe button there. Upload playlist up here, over there, most recently uploaded, and right here, a video for you, based on the user statistics and the things you do on YouTube and the things you watch. This video will be the most important thing for you to check out because you'll probably like it already. So thank you very much for watching. Now see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.